Hello and welcome to today's class on material science. So in today's class, we are going to be talking about degree of polymerization. Now, what is degree of polymerization? This actually measures the amount of unit of monomer which is present in a polymer. We all know that polymerization is simply the process where several monomers come together to form a polymer. Now, to measure the extent of monomer which is present in a polymer is what is called degree of polymerization. By formula, it is simply the ratio of the weight of the poly polymer to the weight of the monomer. So, degree of polymerization simply d dot p is simply equal to the ratio of the weight of the polymer weight of polymer okay all over the weight of the monomer which combines to form the um, polymer okay weight of monomer all right so this actually gives us the value for the degree or um, the formula to calculate the value of the degree of polymerization now let's say that we are asked to find the degree of polymerization find the degree of polymerization of polyethylene which has a molecular weight which has a molecular weight of 120,000 gram per mole okay so let's say we're asked to find the degree of polymerization of polyethylene which has a molecular weight of 120,000 gram per mole now the molecular weight of the polymer itself has been given to us therefore weight of polymer okay the weight of polymer has been given to us as simply 120,000 gram per mole. This is the weight of polymer. Now, what is this polymer? We are asked or we are told that this polymer is polyethylene. And the molecular formula, the molecular formula of polyethylene, is given as C2H4. This is the molecular formula of polyethylene. So which means this is now a polymer and the molecular weight of this polymer has been given to us as 120,000 gram per mole. This becomes the molecular weight of the polymer. Now, the monomers are simply carbon and hydrogen which combine together to form the polymer itself. So we are now to find the molecular weight of the monomer and the weight of the monomer is simply of course carbon has um, atomic number of 12 so we simply have 12 times it has here uh, 2 attached to so become 12 times 2 okay plus hydrogen has atomic number of 1 so we have 1 times 4 all right so this simply means 12 times 2 is 24 plus 4 times 1 here is 4 and you have this to be equal to what 28 gram per mole okay so this becomes the molar weight of polyethylene okay so we have 28 gram per mole now from the formula degree of polymerization dp is now equal to the molecular weight of the polymer and it was given in the question as 120,000 gram per mole so you simply have 120,000 all over the molecular weight of the monomer itself which is now 28 so you have all over 28 so this implies that the degree of polymerization of that polymer is now equal to 428 57.14 okay so this becomes the degree of polymerization for that given question all right so let's also say um, let's say we are given another question and we are asked to find the degree of polymerization for nylon 66. Okay, for nylon 66 having a molecular weight, okay, having a molecular weight of 
350,000 gram per mole. Okay, so let's say we are given also this question to calculate degree of polymerization for nylon 66 having molecular weight of 350,000 gram per mole. Okay, so always, like always, the polymer itself is nylon 66. Okay, and the weight of the polymer has been given as this. All right, so molecular weight of polymer. Okay, molecular weight of polymer is equal to 350,000 gram per mole. So this becomes the molecular weight of the polymer. Now, what is the polymer? Nylon 66. The nylon 66 has a molecular formula of, okay, nylon 66 has a molecular formula of C12 H2 O N2 O2. So this is the molecular formula of nylon 66. All we need to do now is to calculate the molecular weight of nylon 66 from this molecular formula. This is now the polymer itself, whereas the individual uh, monomers that come together to form this polymer, which is carbon, hydrogen, these are all called monomers. So all we need to do now is simply obtain the molecular weight of the monomer. Alright, so the molecular weight of this monomer is now equal to the atomic mass of carbon is 12. So you put down 12 times, of course, the state of carbon here is C12. So it becomes 12 times 12, okay? Plus, next is hydrogen. Hydrogen is, of course, 1 times, okay, each state here is 2. So 1 times 2 plus oxygen has an atomic number of 16, okay, plus nitrogen. Nitrogen has an atomic mass of 14. So you have here 14 multiplied by its known position here, which is 2. Okay, plus oxygen is 16, so you have 16 times its uh, position here, which is 2, so you have this. Alright, so we find the molecular mass of this monomer now, 12 by 12. Alright, so 12 by 12 gives us 1, 4, 4, plus 1 by 22 gives us 22, plus 2 by 14 gives us 28, plus 2 by 16 here gives us 32. So let's add this all up. 144 plus 22 plus 28 plus 32 gives us the molecular weight of the monomer. So weight of monomer equals, what do you have please? You have 226 gram per mole of monomer. All right. So from here, we can now calculate degree of polymerization. Therefore, degree of polymerization, DP, we said it is the ratio of the weight of the polymer. And from the question, the weight of the polymer was given as, the weight of the polymer was given as 350,000 gram per mole, all over the weight of the monomer. Now we've calculated that value to be 226 gram per mole. So you have two, Two six gram per mole. So simply find three hundred and fifty thousand divided by two to six. This implies that degree of polymerization (DP) is equal to. You have one five four. One five four. Eight point six seven. This becomes the degree of polymerization for nylon six six having this molecular weight. All right, guys.